Well, huge news today from the Eskimos. The team has released general manager and vice president of football operations, Ed Hervey, from the final year of his contract. Dave, uh, a surprising day for the Eskimos. Yeah, absolutely. It's the first week of April. Training camps begin uh, late May, and this move happened. It's shocking, to say the least, as far as the timing is concerned. So uh, a lot of the work has been done to this point. There's a lot of free agents that have been signed. Uh, Ed Hervey signed his own free agent, signed some other free agents from around the league, from down south, getting his training camp roster set, coaching staff is set, but there's a draft coming up and there's still more work to do. You don't see this move happen really at all in the Canadian Football League, so the timing is definitely uh, something to be debated. And the biggest question, Mark, of course, is why it happened. There just seems to be a lot of reasons. Len Rhodes, the president who made the decision along with the board today, uh, outlined why it happened. Well, he said there were some uh, uh, disagreements about a new contract extension as Ed Hervey was uh, going into his final year of his uh, current deal as general manager and vice president of football operations, so they couldn't come to an agreement on an extension. And then Len Rhodes talked about uh, basically a, a difference in organizational philosophy where, uh, and Len Rhodes said the word accessibility several times from not only an Eskimo perspective, which is still very important, but a league level that we need more of it. And if you read between the lines, it sounds like Ed Hervey was being a hindrance when it came to media, fans, corporate sponsors, alumni, whatever. And that that didn't sit well with Len Rhodes. So here we are today. The toughest part about all this is he's a winning general manager. He won a great cup. He's put a good team on the field in his years on the job. And I guess that's what makes this more than anything else surprising. Yeah, I mean, the work, the work he has done previously has been pretty good. I mean, he's a pretty good general manager with a, a great cup win, three division title appearances, and uh, obviously that great cup win. But who's out there that could be available that you know could be the next general manager at this point in the season when teams are not going to give permission to speak to their personnel and I believe that window's been closed anyway since uh, the beginning of February so who's left Jim Barker Brendan Tammon Tom Higgins on and on and on uh, but it's a terrible time of the year to have this happen so it would not surprise me if they go with a GM by committee for the whole season and then maybe at some point partway through the season they might hire someone or we go through the whole 2017 season without an actual general manager in place so but it'll be uh It'll be interesting to see how that happens. It's just been a shocking day, a real surprising day. Len Rhodes today said that the search is underway for a new general manager for the Edmonton Eskimos. Until then, Paul Jones has the job on an interim basis. He'll be assisted in those, capac in those jobs by the head coach of the Eskimos, Jason Moss. No timetable really put on when naming a new general manager will happen.